Hello and welcome to a podcast about something. I'm Calvin Houck here with Eric Ladwig. Hello, That's how you. are you? <laughs> Today uh, we've got a podcast about Seinfeld. Uh, we're going to get into that, but Eric had, we had some stuff we were going to... Well, what's been going just, on? Yeah, just what's been going on in the world for well, a couple I mean, minutes. you know us. We, we talk. You know, we talk entertainment. We talk we're in two minute ISO we, here at the beginning. Yeah, I mean, we, it doesn't even have to be in ISO. We can just uh, talk for a few minutes about what's been going on. I mean, Infinity War still... Uh, running strong, Deadpool did end Deadpool's up overtaking into the box office uh, this week in its opening weekend. Uh, probably the only film I probably could have imagined bringing Infinity War off the pedestal within the third, like the third week of its existence, third fourth week in its existence in the theaters. So, um, congratulations to Deadpool uh, and everybody involved. Uh, that's that's actually quite a pretty big accomplishment considering just how big the Infinity War epic was. Yeah, and a lot of people are still complaining about spoilers on the internet, which means there's still somehow Somehow, people who haven't seen it. There's 15 people out there that There may be spoilers as we're talking here, but I mean, it's been out there for four weeks now. Go see it. Indeed. Uh, No, if you haven't yet, yet, obviously you need to go. But uh, Deadpool actually took the same tactic and wanted you to avoid spoilers Um, I found it odd, actually, the difference between, like, the weekend Deadpool release versus the weekend Infinity War released. Like, there were a thousand articles on Deadpool right away. Like, it seemed like media outlets gave Infinity War some time, like, gave everyone that week boundary to, that week-long boundary to, like, you haven't seen it yet, we're not going to post our think pieces, but, like, Deadpool was like, all right, right away, here's Deadpool, this is what we thought. Well, I don't want to be offensive to Deadpool in any sense of the imagination. There's not but, anything to spoil um, as much. But, yeah, there. this was kind of more of an important story, I guess you could say, uh, Avengers Infinity War, right. I mean. Uh, this was a little bit more important um, to not spoil for the fans, and so I feel like, you know, and i got to give a lot of kudos to the media. Normally, they don't go out of their way like this to protect Yeah, I thought, I, I went four days without seeing Infinity War, and, and I thought it was maybe that's just Maybe that's just the hold that Marvel has over access to the media that, <laughs> the, you know, that they, uh, they, I want to maintain my good graces with Marvel, so I'm not going <laughs> to say anything so I can get into Hall H at San Diego Comic-Con. So, um, you know, I, but still, kudos for that. Uh, there was a lot of stuff that could have been spoiled, uh, especially for me, even overnight, even though I was kind of staying off social media. But, I mean, just the way that it was handled, I think, was done very well, both by the studio and by the media involved. So I got to give the kudos out there um, to them. But with Deadpool, um, it was, and we've both seen it. Uh, we're working on our, we we're working on our review for it. Um, and it'll be out probably within the next week or so, I could imagine. Um, we're still kind of putting the finishing touches on a few of the takes for it. Um, it was, it was really good. It was really good. good. And I guess if I had to give a non-spoilery, if I had to give a non-spoilery review for it, it would be that, um, it was just still a lot of the same and maybe tried a little too hard to live up to the first one, but it was still a great story on the, on a second take in the franchise. And it you're not losing any money by going to see this movie by any stretch of the imagination. There's a reason it's doing so well, and that's because it's very good. So um, that's I sure enjoyed it. <laughs> that's that's the uh, I guess the non spoiler review before, and I don't even like to talk non spoiler reviews. To be honest with you, so uh, we we just wanted to wait a little bit and and get ourselves right before we release our take on this new Marvel movie that's coming out and with Ryan Reynolds and all that kind of stuff. So um, it's actually, like I said, number one at the box office now. So it's, it's, uh, it's earned, it's, it's earned its keep. It's done a good job for a week. Yeah. So solo comes out in a couple days. uh, That may, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. We'll just have to wait. No, it'll be fun to see. To be honest with you, it'd be fun to see that'll because... Be a, that'll be an actual battle because Deadpool will have the word of mouth behind it and then mm-hmm. Solo will have Great point. the Star Wars behind it. Exactly, you know, so that's... The Force, the, if you will. <laughs> the Force, if you will, yes, exactly. So, um, but yes, like Cal said, we are here to do a podcast about Seinfeld. Um, it's a show that we both grew up and then grew into as we got older. Yes, um, and we both love it and I think I can speak for everyone in the world that you also <laughs> love it. Indeed. Because it's literally been on TV for like 30 years now. 
It really has. Uh, um, it's got so much staying power. And I, and I don't know if this is just me. And if it's not you, then okay, that's fine. But I don't know if this is just me. But whenever it's on, on like TBS or something, I and there's nothing else on, I mean, listen, this is, this is a solid option. Even though you've seen these episodes maybe 10, 12, 15 times before, so, it's still funny. I don't know what it is about this show, but it's still... Just got so much. It's absolutely hilarious. Value most, to it. most of it holds up. There are some situations where, like, oh, that can't happen because everybody has cell phones now. And yeah, like, right. I mean, but but if you can you take suspend your back, disbelief yeah. a little bit, you you fall right into it and see where these people are and how they're there. Um, I can't. I wanted to tell this story. You say whenever it's on TBS, you turn it on. Like you'll stop and watch on it. I can't actually do that. Because I've conditioned myself to have a Pavlovian response to Seinfeld that when I hear that music, I fall asleep. I've been watching Seinfeld as, While you fall like, asleep. as I fall asleep for since I was in college, so 15 right. years, something like that. And not 15 years, 12 years. <laughs> Aging myself not a bit. That old. Yeah. I am, but you are. <laughs> and, and I've conditioned myself that literally if an episode of Seinfeld comes on, I'm asleep in like four minutes. So I... I don't turn it on on TBS quite as much, but I still watch it. Every, it drives my life crazy, but I watch it every night before I fall asleep, and it uh, it just I, I, it's just a good laugh to fall asleep. Oh, absolutely! To, especially if you're paying attention, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, on the nights you can't sleep, it's great oh to gosh. have on a, clo- a, a good it. a good second for falling asleep to shows is like The Office or maybe that '70s show. I feel like that would that be '70s like... show is good. The Office <laughs> is kind of hard because they. The outlandish things they right. do get and a you little just loud. Have to pay sometimes. attention. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My, Michael Scott can get a little loud at times. <laughs> so, so anyway, we're gonna do something a little different. Where uh, I feel like at this point, like we said, it's been on for thirty years almost. It's been talked about ad nauseum. Every take that has been taken on Seinfeld has are is already out there. We are going to do uh, back and forth trivia, and as we ask each other questions. Um, we're going to answer them, and then we'll talk about the episode that happened in a little bit, and then just go to the next question. And at the end, uh, obviously, I will be the winner because I have won many a bar night trivia by myself on a Seinfeld round. Don't challenge me. I, I mean, you can, but you're not going to win. I'm sorry. Let's jump right into it. Uh, we'll let the um, we'll let Eric go first. <laughs> you let me go first. Couldn't think of right, a nice so, way to say what I wanted. So to say. you want me to ask the first question? You then. ask Here the we first go. question. I have a trivia answer. for you. All right, we're going back and forth here. What was the name of the bookstore that Jerry had Uncle Leo bust Oh God, darn it! So this was in uh, <laughs> this was season nine. You know the Uncle season Le- yeah. for it? Uncle Leo gets arrested. Uh, the episode, I believe, was the bookstore. Okay, I believe. Um, yeah, Jerry gets Uncle Leo arrested. George takes the book out uh, uh, the, on French Renaissance <laughs> paintings. Uh, gets flagged. Gets, gets flagged. He can't return it. He can't take it to the homeless. Can't take it anywhere. The, the woman used to work at a Brentano, so she knows when a book has been flagged. Her, exactly. Oh, uh, what is her name? Oh, you know her name. I know too. her name. I can't just think stop. of it, but I know All right, her name. Just stop. <laughs> that Keep is a going. great episode. That's one of my favorite episodes. I'd have. What to was the signature all... line of that episode? Jerry, hello. 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 When he gets arrested. Hello. <laughs> it was a crime of passion, right. you know. He had priors. It, it wasn't Uncle Leo's fault. Yeah, I've got priors. <laughs> Are you beginning to see how unfair this trivia contest this, oh, is? Oh, it's really going to be unfair now. I thought I had a good question for you. That was that was a good. Right, that was so good. Bring it. Uh, so, why doesn't George like to carry a pen? Oh God. Um. <laughs> Calvin's been, he's, he's written me, uh, multiple answers. Some so, multiple choices. You know, so, um, he doesn't want to get ink on his pants. That is incorrect. It is incorrect. He's okay. afraid it will puncture his scrotum. <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> of course it was. I'm sorry I missed that one. That was from the, uh, I the wanted to guess that one when I read it. I was just like, wait, you're talking 90s television. I, think I don't they, know. They got away with it. Maybe, yeah. yeah, okay. That's always a game I like to play when I'm watching old episodes of like uh, Seinfeld. I guess they're going back to the Office where they just get away with so yeah, many things you like, can't do now. Could could they get away with this if they made? Could they make this TV show? Yeah, right. This? I love to play that game and uh, yeah, this is one that probably not because I also had a uh, that was the parking garage episode where they're all stuck in the parking garage. They can't find their car. Um, 
<laughs> and they peed in public. Yeah. They, they went to Jerry peed in your, public. Jerry doesn't want to get Euromycetesis poisoning and die. It, his brother stole his public pee pass. Oh, my God. It was rough. Um, but they also made fun of Scientology in that one. They get picked up by a oh, beautiful woman. That. And they get kicked out of his car because, out of her car, rather, because uh, George makes some ill comments toward Scientology. Oh, my God. All right, okay. next up. 1-0. Calvin's, All right. winning. Calvin's winning. What is the real name of where the gang goes constantly? Monk's Cafe. What is the real, the real name? real name in New York is Tom's Restaurant. Tom's Restaurant. Very good. Calvin's up 2 to nothing. See, I, I'm usually not good with the outside of the show trivia. Right. But that one, they did um, what they've done, a thousand think pieces on it everywhere. Oh, okay. There's probably been 1,500 BuzzFeed And I'm sure you've watched them all and yeah. read them all. <laughs> exactly. But they did the, um, <laughs> they did a Super Bowl commercial about it, and then it was an episode of uh, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. Right. Where they were in right. character as Jerry and George, and they went to Tom's restaurant instead of Monk's Cafe. <laughs> so it was there, like, that was... Usually I'm not good at like, oh, this actress was in one episode of Seinfeld. What every other show is she in? Now, if I'm, if, when I make it to New York City, obviously, that, that might be a place I have to at least try to go eat. That's in my top you know? three, definitely. Yeah, and, and here's, I'm a guy, I've been to the actual fire station for Ghostbusters. That's right. I've been there. Seen the um, that's, that's my, I'm, my sister and I were standing inside in my Twitter avatar. Uh, we're standing inside the firehouse under the Ghostbusters 2 sign that they still hang there. And so that like that was one of the coolest probably nerd related moments of my life was was going there like I, it's just a movie I it's one of the first movies I remember, period. Yeah. And I loved it so much. I had all the toys growing up and so to actually see this thing in person was amazing. Sam and I think that so cool And I think it, to go and actually have like breakfast or a at lunch Tom's at restaurant. Tom's yeah. restaurant would be pretty like You can't bring your own maple syrup in though. It's it's can't frowned bring... upon. <laughs> so yeah, I mean that would be that would be a fun time. So if you ever get the chance, go to Tom's. <laughs> Alright. Uh Calvin has two. Eric stole zero, but here's question two. Let's see if you can All get right, a little redemption. According to Kramer, uh which real life movie is based on a book about toy ray guns? <laughs> um I'm gonna say Firestorm. Incorrect. Incorrect. What was it? Mars Attacks? Day. Independence Day. Oh, I forgot it was this still is on when, air uh, back then. Yeah. yeah, it was 96, wasn't yeah. it? Okay. So Kramer uh, Kramer <laughs> retires. This is the episode The Wizard. What does he retire from? Well, that's, that's <laughs> Jerry's question. But uh, Kramer sells uh, the coffee table book. Some big Hollywood so-and-so options it for a movie. George asks, how are they going to make that into a movie? And Kramer says, you ever... See, uh, you ever hear of the toy book about toy ray guns? You ever hear of Independence Day? So Kramer retires and moves down to Del Boca Vista, next door neighbors with the Seinfelds. He ends up running for Yeah, office. Morty, Morty yeah. institutes him in a puppet regime. <laughs> so that's a rough one. That's <laughs> but tough then he, for Kramer. He, he gets caught without his shoes on in the, uh, in the clubhouse. You can't do that in these floors. We know. No, that's My parents live in one of these uh, communities. <laughs> do they again. really? They don't live in one necessarily, but they treat it like that sometimes, I feel like. <laughs> oh, this guy was riding his bike on the left side of the road instead of the right side. You can't do that. Lock him up. You can't do that. you got to let him know. 2-0. Calvin's All right, it's 2-0. Calvin's lead. I'm, I'm, I'm going to lose this, people. Uh, what was the name of the NBC executive who greenlit the sitcom Jerry and also fell in love with Elaine? Russell Dalrymple. Oh, my D-A-L-R-Y-M-P-L-E. <laughs> I know, uh, like three and you words in. spelled it. That's a plot point in the episode. Yes. George can't spell it. Yeah, yeah. Let me spell it for you. Not even close. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, yeah. I'm sorry. You're not even giving me a chance here. You answered these within like three, qu- like yeah, three seconds. We we did um, we did barroom trivia in college, and it was they had a Seinfeld round one time. It was like ten questions, and I didn't let the guy finish any of them before I got them all right. <laughs> and then I corrected him on one because you win three drinks. Oh yeah! I, oh I mean, yeah, that's great. Won the whole group a uh, gift card or whatever. It was nice. yeah. We single handedly won the trivia night based on <laughs> my Seinfeld expertise. I watch a lot of Seinfeld guys. Seriously. Yeah, I know. I mean, that's why my questions are, I guess, lame to him. Do you want to switch? Do you want to ask me my no, questions? No, you already know the answers to your questions. I know the answers right. to yours too. According cool. to George, which city is the pesto of cities? <laughs> New Orleans. 
Wrong again. No! God, come on. See, I don't uh, remember any of these little facts that you, you're pulling from, like, way deep. All right, I'll go to the easier questions. No, it's fine. Right. Tell me about this one. So this was from the Bus Boy uh, Season 2. Um, season 2? You're yeah, talking 1990? These don't get replayed a lot. You said bring on the challenge. Oh I brought my it. Oh, gosh. Um, and this is one I'm actually for. from the Quiz Up app, which I thought those were much easier than the ones I created on my own. <laughs> So I tried to give you a fighting chance here, but uh, yeah, they're talking about they're at a restaurant, and eventually George gets the uh, busboy fired, and uh, also loses his cat somehow. Uh, but they're they're talking about George orders pesto, and he doesn't understand why he orders pesto. He wants to like it because everybody else likes it, but he doesn't like it. And then Elaine meets a man from Seattle, and he says Seattle's the pesto of cities. <laughs> Elaine cannot get rid of that guy fast. I've never enough. been to Seattle, but neither have I. It you know what. I don't disagree with that. I imagine it's probably <laughs> yeah. kind of true. It's a little dreary, you know. It's it seems like pesto is not raining. dreary. It's tasty. It's fun. I'm not a pesto fan. I love it. I love it. To be honest. With well, you. you go All to right, Seattle. Me, I will go to New Orleans. You go ahead. You have fun in the peace-soaked streets of New Orleans. All right, that's true. Sorry, New Orleans. I didn't mean that. Um, all right. Question four. George once recorded a modified song for his personal answering machine message. What athlete stars in a commercial using the same song that George used? Aaron Rodgers. God darn it. <laughs> Believe it or not, George <laughs> isn't, isn't at home. <laughs> Please leave a message at the beep. That was, All right, um, that was too easy. Yeah, yeah George is trying to avoid, That's a great lead-in, though. George is trying to uh, avoid breaking up with he's his girl. Yeah, he's because, screaming uh, his call. Yeah, he's screaming his call because he doesn't want to talk to his girl because uh, he's got the Yankee... The Yankee pinstripe ball coming up, and he wants to make a great entrance with her backless dress. Ends up making that great entrance with Kramer. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that episode, <laughs> oh, good. but you're listening to a podcast on Seinfeld for some reason. All right. So, your fourth question, and you're up, what, 3 nothing. Yeah, it's 3 nothing. It's 3 nothing. It's this, this is like, kind of this over, is like Warriors this is still fun. Rockets here. This is still fun. All right. What is Elaine's safety school that oh. she actually attended? Queens College. Queens College is where Jerry and George went to college. Oh, uh, where Elaine what, went to Tufts University. Pembroke Tufts. Is, Pembroke is what's the she college. doing working for Pendant Publishing? She, she should be going to like dental school or something. I didn't know any of this. Pembroke is I've the never college heard the word for Tufts boys, boys on Seinfeld. Boy Meets World is where Pembroke comes from. <laughs> I want to punch you for that. I really do. Like, Tufts, I like it. Tufts that's is a, a real that's college. a really great school. Like, it was her safety school. <laughs> safety school? This what should she have been doing besides hanging out with these idiots in the freaking Monk's Cafe the whole time? Well, the, you know, she had dreams. It wasn't to be that, you know. Oh, my goodness. That was from the Puerto Rican Day episode. just lost episode. kind of like a tiny little respect for Elaine. Well, you know, you get a job you can get in New York. It's doggy dog world out there. I suppose. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that was from the Puerto Rican Day. I, I can't hold that one against you because they don't syndicate that episode. It's, right. You really got to go and find it because they burn the Puerto Rican flag, which I guess is that's, found that's, upon. That's very funny. Yeah. So let's not right. burn any Puerto Rican flags out there. Question five, just to wrap up this onslaught. Five? All right. Four. Five. No, this is my five? fifth question. Okay. All right. Sorry, everyone. In one episode, Jerry thinks a cleaning crew recommended Elaine stole an important item from his, oh, I'm sorry, recommended by Elaine, stole an important yeah. item from his apartment. How does Kramer help to get it back? And what was the item? It was a statuette. I'm not even hesitating. No. Like, can you just give me like two or three seconds? <laughs> um, let me think. <laughs> Kramer poses as a cop and goes to the guy's <laughs> apartment, holds him up to the wall, and like just berates him. What does he call him? <laughs> tell him, tell him. What does he call him? You make yeah, love to that wall, him. pervert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he he doesn't know if he has the right guy because the the guy Ray. He's still looking name. around for the yeah. statue. <laughs> well, and and Ray goes, I, you can't be in the right place. And he goes, uh, he like pauses and he goes, is your name Ray? And so the guy goes, yeah. He goes, yeah, you're the punk I'm looking for. <laughs> you but yeah, it's a it's a statuette it, that sorry. George once or George's mom once owned and he broke it. Um, yeah. Years ago or You're, something. Yeah, he like, wanted to make up for yeah, it. He wanted to make up for it. He left so it was at Jerry's so house. important to him, so Kramer went in looking for it. Yeah, he left it at Jerry's oh house, and Ray, Ray definitely stole it. I thought I'm, I was at least going to get you with that one. I'm on Team George here. Ray definitely stole it from Jerry's house. Like, he didn't get that in Chinatown like he claims. <laughs> All, right, All right, so let's just make it, let's make it a blowout here. Let's make it a blowout here. 
Let's complete the sweep. When Jerry and Elaine are discussing fixing George up with Cynthia, what skill does Jerry claim George possesses? <laughs> I'm going to read um, all the answers to this because I made up most of them and I think they're funny. Uh, a, George can lift 100 pounds. B, George is tall. C, George can bait a hook. Or D, George likes spicy chicken. All right. I don't know why fishing would come in handy. You, but that's like know. my second option out of all these. I don't think George likes spicy chicken is something George he would... George does like spicy chicken. We all know that's that. That's not from this episode. And George is so not tall, and I think Jerry does a decent job of reminding him of that. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to go, my first answer is A, with my backup being C, George can bait a hook. So C is the correct answer. What? George can bait a hook is the correct answer. He said he wouldn't know by looking at him, but George can bait a hook. That's a terrible positive to say about. Well, someone. it's George Costanza. You got to take Sorry. what you can get, and uh, but but I'll give you half a point there because Elaine uses George can lift a hundred pounds right over his head when she's selling it to Cynthia. So you're playing mind tricks with me this whole I time. I said, "What does Jerry say to uh, okay. to Elaine?" All right, whatever. But I, I gave you half a point, five to half. All right, five to half. It's I not guess a complete that's the way it's going to wrap up. This this blowout here that we had in Seinfeld trivia. All I can, you know, we're gonna I'm do sorry. more of these. The TV only thing I episodes. can't wait for is to where you know I have something to ask him about something I watch more than he does. I don't know what that's gonna be yet yeah, because it's not I'm pretty Seinfeld. sure I'm pretty sure it's gonna be. <laughs> it's not Seinfeld. <laughs> I got to do some real thinking on what I can get it back on in this. So. We're gonna do more of these. I, I like this <laughs> format for doing TV because we don't watch a whole lot of modern sitcoms, so. Going back to the old sitcoms. Well, you in refuse this to watch a whole lot of modern sitcoms. I don't have time to watch modern sitcoms. Oh my god! I watched I, the Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. She's funny. Never, never even seen a second of that show. I'm sorry. She's funny. I'm sorry, she's but still. Funny. I think we can do an Office one. We might. I, I might. I might need to. I'm not as up on that because I haven't been falling asleep to The Office for twelve years. <laughs> I've been falling asleep over for the last uh, there you six go. months. That might so be your way to go. this might be my way to go. I, I think don't we know, could probably so. pull How I Met Your Mother. That would be interesting because I was be really good. into that show. And We'd have to like just leave out season no questions from season nine. Why? Because it doesn't count. Why? Because it happened in one day. Di- I don't like season nine. I know you don't like. It's a horse of a different. Anyway, um, if you like those shows, leave us some recommendations. Yeah, other what shows. You think we should. We like TV. We should do a little discussion on. Uh, we like TV. We like doing this. Uh, so you know, this is fun. This was a Seinfeld episode. Seinfeld's a fun show. Seinfeld sure is very fun. It's also a show about nothing. We are yeah. a podcast about something, though. So yeah, keep listening. I'm sure you get the reference by now. Um, so anyway, um, probably next week sometime. I'm hoping we can get that Deadpool Hopefully. 2 review up. Um, we will perfect it and make it as best as we can for you guys. And, you know, we will be back to visit you guys very, very soon. And I'm looking forward to it. Every yes. second. Uh, listen, listen on all of your podcast forums: uh, Stitcher, SoundCloud, iTunes, iTunes, Apple Podcasts. Apple what they're podcast. calling it nowadays. Oh, uh, Google Play. Tune in. Uh, we're we're out there. We're, we're out, out there. there. Find us. We're search for a podcast about something. Follow us on Twitter at APA something. Email us if you feel like emailing a podcast about something at gmail dot com. Uh, that we have a website. Did we do that? have a website. A podcast about something. Dot com. Yeah, yeah. I think um, I think we should start writing for that. We're gonna bit. do more maybe, on maybe it. We do a little um, uh, little variety of, of takes, whether it's entertainment, yeah, sports, whatever. We, you we only do. get together every two weeks or so, so it might well, be a good way to drop to do in more things than that, in between. But, you know, you know, you know. So good way to drop takes in in between actual episodes. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, if you're interested and you want to let us know what you think, please do. We welcome your critique. We welcome your recommendations. We want to know what you want to hear about, and so please. Communicate with us. Let us know, and we are looking forward to hearing from you. But most of all, stay classy. Stay classy. Stay classy.